And welcome back. Something in your kitchen may be the answer to making solar energy more affordable. The same substance that keeps food from sticking to a pan. KATV News Watch 7's Alex Hoffman tonight with some slick research at the University of Nebraska Lincoln. Oh, the power of the sun. It makes plants grow, gives us warmth, and adds a little color to our lives. But getting power out of the sun is a little costly right now. The public power districts weren't interested in doing solar because it was more expensive. Currently, solar energy costs three times more than coal production, twice as much as natural gas, and 75% more than wind. But that could all change due to a slick idea. It involves the same ingredient that prevents your eggs from sticking to the pan. Mechanical engineers at the University of Nebraska Lincoln believe using the nonstick agent can produce organic solar cells that are not only 50% more efficient, but drastically reduce the cost to make them. Jin Sung Kwan is the lead researcher. Hopefully, we can uh, reduce the price of solar energy by 10 times, then everyone can afford it. Here's how it works. By coating the surface with a non-wetting agent, the polycrystalline cells they grow beat up and slide around like these water droplets. So that material can run and they eventually merge to big crystals. The bigger the crystals, the more power they put out. They've already proved that it works on a smaller scale and published their research in a national journal. And eventually we want to scale that up. That could shine a light for folks trying to promote more solar energy. That would be a really big deal. That would mean that, that a lot more people would want to get into solar energy. And using the non-stick trick could also lead to improvements for other technology, like faster transistors and more sensitive photodetectors. The research is so promising, it's received over $3 million in national grants. Not only a low-cost energy, also clean energy that makes the world basically sustainable. In Lincoln, Alex Hoffman, KETV News Watch 7. Very cool. And Bill, a perfect day to test out those theories. Gosh, you're on. right. Clean energy, low cost, that's like two things that, uh, that's a perfect match, isn't it? It is. Uh, you're right.